Well, this is Artifacts of Mars, and this is part two of my uh, report about left trying to launching a multi-pronged attack to steal the election. In part one, we discussed the information war, how they're uh, blaming on the Russians and trying to nullify the election that way. Spearheaded by Washington Post and a shadowy group, nobody even knows who they are. Now this is part two. Joe Stein filed a petition for Wisconsin recount and other states too. This is after she said that uh, she would feel better having Donald Trump for uh, president rather than uh, hologram Hillary because she was afraid that Trump, she was afraid that Hillary was started a uh, nuclear war with the Russians. So, let's see if we can So, basically, what they're doing, I can't get that to come up, but here's uh, Bloomberg politics, same thing. Uh, the World Net Daily uh, story was about death threats that have been received by the electors. The electors are being threatened on a daily basis by uh, the Democratic Party. They're receiving death threat after death threat. Don't tell me, oh, as a fact, why are you accusing Democrats? Because I know them all too well. They're threatening the electors to change their vote to hologram Hillary. And here we go again, Clinton recount plan draws sore loser jive from Team Trump. If Green Party candidate Jill Stein initiates recounts in those states as she intends, Clinton campaign will participate in order to ensure the process proceeds in a manner that is fair to all sides. You are a liar, 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 pants on fire. That is a lie. That's what Clinton campaign lawyer Mark Elias said on Saturday in a post on blogging website medium.com. He added that he doesn't expect the action to overturn Trump's election. That is bullshit. That is a lie. That is another lie because uh, what they're trying to, what they're going to do is an old Democrat Party uh, trick. They'll sit there and count and recount and recount and recount a dozen times until it goes their way. And I said, yep, this is right count. After millions of uh, dead voters voted and God only knows how many illegal aliens. Trump's focused on Stein, not Clinton, in a response. The people have spoken, election is over, and as how... Hillary Clinton herself said on election night, in addition to her conceding by congratulating me, we must accept this result and look to the future. Kellyanne Conway, who is Trump's campaign manager and is now senior advisor, was less conciliatory. What a pack of sore losers, she said in a statement. After asking Mr. Trump and his team a million times on trail, will he accept the... Election results, it turns out Team Hillary and the new BF5 Jill Stein can't accept reality. That's true. Rather than adhere to the condition, tradition of graciously conceding and wishing the winner well, they've opted to waste millions of dollars and dis dismiss the democratic process. People have spoken, time to listen up. Number yes, your president, Conway said.
and this is unofficial, I heard it from Alex Jones, they may actually be uh, planning on some kind of mil you know, say it, military. I think they're planning uh, more violence. I was Al what Alex Jones was saying, more violence in the cities. I'm just afraid it's going to turn into an armed insurrection that we'll have to wait and see. That isn't necessarily a correct fear, but we'll have to wait and see on that, like you said. So there you have it. Uh, Jill Stein and Hillary Clinton have teamed up to count and recount and recount and recount and recount until it goes their way and Hillary uh, is elected and then they'll say, yeah, this is the right count. That's the way they operate. They're going to see how many illegal alien votes they can get and so forth. Illegal alien dead people. Anybody that they can get to vote. The left, folks, is trying to steal this election. And they are going out, they're hauling out the big guns. Oh, God, I shouldn't have said that. It might be for real. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Uh, you're ready for a rough ride, folks.